Pixie! Pixie! You gonna say hello? Hello, baby. Hello, little man. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. We're gonna have another passenger today too, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, so uh, Dixie is really taken to boat life. Yes, we've got another passenger today. Uh, on the way down, if you remember, uh, Lily and Noah did a forest school at w w Wolseley. I always get it mixed up, but it's about an hour that way anyway. Um, they did a forest school on the way down and little Noah made a lovely friend, little Sam. So little Sam and his mum, Elizabeth, are coming on board chugs and we're gonna have a little cruise that way with them. So that'll be nice and hopefully a barbecue when we get there, so that's good. And yeah, little Dixie, what a cracking little guy. By the time you're watching this, he's probably been on board nearly three weeks. Um, I did release um, a video to Patreon a day or two after we got him, uh, so they did get a sneak preview. So if you are a Patreon and you're watching this and you did keep quiet, thank you very much. <laughs> And we're on our way. Noah's got his little friend and his mum on board. So hopefully we can have a nice sandwich for dinner and a little bit of a barbecue for tea. Happy days. Bruce Lee has been a really handy little mooring for us. Uh, obviously we've got Dixie. I had to sort another couple of little things out which I've sorted. And I've enjoyed it at Rusley. They had a nice little couple of walks around the town. Definitely a nice little place to stop. And there's uh, Chris and Deb's boat. I think there's Deb there at the back, look. I wonder if she'll say hello. They're also friends of Simon and Tracy. And of course, Simon came yesterday to help us pick Dixie up. Say hello, Deb. Hello. <laughs> Where's Chris? Oh, we're not gonna get him. Oh, there he is! Like a cuckoo clock. See you later, guys. All right. Bye. CRT working hard here, putting new Armco in for more in here at Rusley. Always nice to see this happening. And they do do a good job. You normally get lots of moored boats in Rusley, so uh, more often than not, you're on tick over all the way through. We've met some subscribers on there, but I don't know names yet. Who have we got? We've got Sandra. Sandra. Nick. Nick. Rich. And Clint. Rich. Nick. 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 And Clint. Clint. So there you go. And we've got a little tiny one. And they got a pussy cat, I think, somewhere. Oh, oh, oh no, it's a little dog. There's dogs oh, everywhere. Got three dogs. Hello. That's Billy. Oh no, no Billy. she's naughty, that's Billy. This that's one. Bill. This one. Oh, look at them. Oh, bless. Yeah. Oh, and a cat in the window. Well, there's, there's a cat in the window there, but I don't think the camera will pick it up, but yeah. Well, that was lovely to meet Nick, Sandra and Clint on their boat. And we're going to meet up with them, hopefully, at Tixel Wide, Great Haywood area. So, uh, fingers crossed. So, oh, there's a dog going past, but here we are, you can see, oh. first time for Dixie is on the stern, so he's having a go, we're just going nice and slow, on tick over, not to frighten him, but he's quite comfy there, mm -hmm. having a look around, yeah, he's going to be a boat dog, isn't he? He is, he's, he's already, is. A, boat he's already dog. a boat dog, yeah, <laughs> and here we're going round the bend, literally, going round the right hand <laughs> bend. <laughs> And just behind that willow tree are what's called the Bloody Steps with the murder of Christina Collins. Uh, that's where her body was, uh, well it was pulled out here and then took up to a pub at the top of the steps. Uh, the pub's no longer there but it is a tragic story. Um, the boaters were tried in 1839 and they were hung later in Stafford Prison. But if you want to know more, I've said it before in a vlog, have a look at Andy's vlog on Tales from the Swan Neck. And I'll leave the link uh, in the description below, but it's a fantastic vlog and it does tell the whole story uh, of uh, what happened there.
almost immediately when you go around that right hand bend we go over the River Trent. Well, <laughs> Dixie's doing all right. He's on the back deck and not a lot is bothering him. He's enjoying himself. It is quite warm. We're a bit conscious, obviously, to keep him warm. But yeah, I think he's going to be all right. He's all right. He's, all right. he's, he's going to be all right. Good boy. And again, we're going through the willow. Oh, duck. <laughs> just coming into view now is Bishton Hall. Can you see that house just beyond the trees? I'm going to tell you the story of that when we moor up. Just around the next corner, Wolsey Bridge Mooring. So that's going to be a home for a couple of nights anyway. It is nice round here. So that's it. We're all moored up at Wolseley. I think that's the correct pronunciation. And we're right down here by the River Trent. And me and little Dixie are just having a walk down here. I want to share something with you in a minute, but we're just going to have a, a spot of lunch. I am not going down there. Looks like the tide's out. Yep, it is the River Trent, but it is really low. We do have water problems around here at the moment. But we are all so proud of little Dixie. He was on the back and he loved it. Didn't you, baby? Mm? Yeah, I hope you love him. Well, I've left everyone having fun there. The kids are playing with balloons, bubbles, or whatever they are. There's all sorts going on. And I thought I'd come down here and share something with you. Uh, just over there, through the trees, you may be able to see, though I doubt it, Bishton Hall. Can you see it? That's not it. It's over there. <laughs> That's why you can't see it. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Well, I've zoomed in there, through the trees, you can see Bishton Hall. Beautiful building. Yeah, Bishton Hall holds conferences and everything. I think it may still be a school, I'm not sure, or it was a former school. A beautiful building, and it's now currently owned by Charles Hansen. Now, UK uh, viewers may recognise him from many antique uh, shows on uh, British television. He's quite well known. But if you remember, on the way down, we found an oddity. An oddity. We found a little building that was underground. Take a look. Yeah, you may remember the vlog of this old brick building hidden away under a very, very big tree. Let's go in and then I can explain. I have to mind my head. Going in. Let's make sure nobody's in here. No, they're not. It's like an old fireplace and stuff here, but yeah, look. And it leads out to the River Trent here. Looks like someone's had a barbecue or a fire pit going there. But yeah, look at that. I'm just put it back off. I've got to be very careful. Because <laughs> I might fall, but can you see? There's hinges on the door. It does back onto the River Trent here. Yeah, now I struggled to see what this could be. I just struggled. It's interesting, isn't it? But now I've got the answer. It turns out that years ago, um, there used to be a temple built there on the side of the River Dee. And that was, in fact, the boathouse underneath. Uh, the temple was built up with pillars, as you can see here. Uh, and it was for the people of Bishton Hall to worship. So, how interesting is that? Obviously, no sign of the temple now, uh, but the old boathouse still stays. 
Wonderful, isn't it? You never know what you'll find on a walk. So anyway, I'm on my way back to Chugs now. I'm back to the fun. See the kids playing and the doggies playing. We're being very, very careful with little Dixie. Um, he's got to have another jab yet, so he's not getting introduced to people, really. Um, he's getting held all the time, as of yet. But we've got to take him back for his second jab in about 28 days. Um, second jab, and obviously he's got to have his worming and all the rest of treatments. But uh, he's a beautiful little boy. Beautiful little boy. Dixie, what are you doing? Are you terrorising? Your brother and sister are a little bit scared. He keeps barking this morning. It's Saturday morning. He keeps wanting to play and Dale and Primrose look frightened to death. <laughs> Dale isn't being nasty, by the way. He just growls at everything. Oh. Oh, do you do you mind? That's our bed in. Excuse me, Dixie. D Dixie, he's eating the bed, love. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dixie. Oh well. Perhaps you two should be worried. Look at Primrose's face. Good morning, Saturday the 20th of August. A sleepless night for me, last night. Dale! Hello! What are you doing? <laughs> Quite windy this morning. Uh, yeah, little Dixie was up for most of the night, so uh, I've had not a lot of sleep at all. One minute he wanted to play, then he wanted to go on the mat for a wee-wee or a poop. Uh, but he's been a very good boy. He sort of cries and whimpers a little bit. So as we know to put him on the mat and he goes, he's, it's uncanny. So he has been a good boy really, but we're cruising today. Morning. Yes, we need a services. Uh, we need Nelson Point and we need to get rid of our rubbish. Ideally, we want to top up with water, but perhaps some more on that as we get going. But uh, we're heading towards Great Haywood and Tixel Wide area. And we can't wait. And we we've there. got a new passenger on the roof this morning. We've got to put another blanket over him, but he's in the life ring and Nicky's keeping an eye on him. So he's going to be safe. So Dix's first ride on the roof. We want to try and get him used to it, perhaps he might ride up there. We have a few friends whose doggies love it up there on the roof. What do you reckon, Dixie? Dixie! What do you reckon? Oh, I haven't got you. There we go. What do you think? Do you love it? And oh, Nicky oh. and I both fell in love with this boat. Look at that. And I don't know whether it picks up the doors at the front. Huge arch doors. How lovely would that area be? So the plan for today is to keep all dogs out of the water is the first plan. Uh, but then we're ho hopefully going to Great Haywood. Sorry, the sun's playing havoc. Uh, we're going to Great Haywood today or thereabouts. That's the plan. Now the roof is looking a little mucky, but I did clean it the other day, trust me. But uh, we've moved the ring, and obviously under the, the, the ring, uh, it leaves a little mark, but not to worry. Little Dixie's got his bed, and he looks comfy there. There's Narrowboat Nimrod there, we've seen him a, a couple of times on our travels. But yeah, we've got a few friends that uh, their little doggies love it on the roof. Uh, we've got uh, Amanda and Wayne with little Nix, the little puppy he likes riding on the roof. And who cannot know little Smudge, 
uh, Steve and Chris's dog. He loves it on the roof. So who knows? We might have one too with little Dixie.